Hello and welcome to Global Farm Simulator Network. I'm your host, Green Acres, and today we're going to take a little introductory tour um, on one of the servers in our network uh, to introduce you to the concepts that we employ. Um, we're a small company. Uh, we started about a year ago and uh, we've been in beta for probably about six months. And with FS22, we are formally going live on this platform. Um, what we offer is a network of connected servers uh, that host multiple players uh, that are free. Uh, yes, we embrace freedoms. Uh, we embrace true freedom uh, for our players and we try to be as realistic as possible um, in everything that we do. Um, so pricing is realistic. Um, the ability to purchase, buy and sell uh, is all very realistic and kind of true to life. We have bankers in our ecosystem that loan money at various rates. Uh, we have equipment dealers, uh, some of them not too honest probably, but hey, that's life. Um, so we've taken uh, a multiplayer network and we've extended it across multiple servers. In our system, you can own factories, you can produce things, you can buy things. Um, you can trade with other players, you can partner with them, you can exchange contracts, you can buy and sell with each other easily. Um, our servers also feature the ability to do imports and exports. So you may have multiple farms and you can produce crop on one server and export it to another server and then really import it at that server and utilize it for your factory or whatever you want it for to feed your animals. Um, all of those things are possible in our closed loop system. Uh, we've been at this for a while on FS19 and now we've gone live on FS22. Uh, we have three versions of Elm Creek running. Um, they're all PC at the moment, but they fully support crossplay on our co-op version. Uh, and the other version is the PC version and then the base Elm Creek, which is crossplay. Um, all three of them now are currently accepting move-ins. Um, the co-op server, however, um, is a unique server. It's our jobs engine. Uh, so players can't really buy land on that server unless they own a factory there uh, and need the land to grow. Um, the primary purpose of the co-op server is to serve as our jobs engine. So what you'll find there is that we have a company called uh, Global uh, Co-op and the co-op owns most of the land on that server. Um, they also own equipment and you know they treat it as a business enterprise. So uh, we have a computer-based system that generates contract based upon the time of the season and what needs to be done. Um, and all of the fields on that are controlled by this process called AutoFarm. AutoFarm generates contracts daily for care of the field. Uh, there are many fields on the entire server and all of them belong to Global um, and they issue contracts. Equipment is provided, supplies are provided, players can show up anytime they want and there's year-round work there. Um, we Say So Corporation, um, which is the corporate provider on that map, owns all of the factories uh, on the co-op map. and. What they do is that they operate them. Uh, players can interact with the factories in our system. They can buy product from the factories. They can transport product from the factory to end sell points, uh, garnering uh, you know whatever the free market pays. If the price is up, you can make some bucks. If the price is down, you can lose some bucks. Um, it's a completely open system. Um, we do multiplayer right. We do factories right. We've been doing factories on Ricky Hollow and stuff like that back in FS19. So we've perfected uh, the ability to transact for a player to set up a factory and both accept money from other players purchasing and buying and uh, selling their goods. Uh, it's a rich, vibrant environment. Um, we've also done other unique things, uh, such as most of you are used to the uh, base version of the game which has eight farm slots. Um, this is a limiting factor. Uh, that means if you're going to play with other players, you are going to be limited to those eight other players. Now, if you know anything about eight other players, trying to get them all, line, all online to play at any given time 
is going to be uh, damn near next to impossible. So you might see one or two people every now and then, if ever, and some guy named Bob that gets on at 2 in the morning, uh, you know, to farm his field for 30 minutes, but you don't see him, so he might as well not exist. Um, our system cures that by doing something unique. Um, we threw away that base game model of limitation of the player slots, um, and we all play in the farm manager slot. Um, so what we've done is we've tokenized the wallet function and the ownership of land and, and anything that you can buy or sell in the game. Um, and we moved it to the web where it belongs, where it can be done better. So in game, we all live inside the same farm manager account um, and everything is titled. Uh, so with regards to real estate, um, when you land in our game, all real estate that is available for sale or lease is shown. Um, and you can immediately lease land or you can buy land or you can bid on some land that's out there um, and then get to work on it. There's no delays here. There's no whitelisting process. Um, we offer um, a nice environment that's the most realistic multiplayer environment uh, yet to be devised. Um, in our system, because we can support as many players as there are slots essentially to get in. Um, we run our players, uh, our servers at 16 players. Um, the premise is, is that we can have 50 individual property owners on that map, all with their farms, and they don't all get on at the same time. They get on occasionally, some get on for two hours here, two hours there. So our theory is that we can fill up these 16 player slots to create vibrant servers that are always busy 24 hours a day. I mean, after all, you came here for multiplayer, you really want to be, you know, have to look both ways when you're crossing the street. Uh, you want to see activity. You don't want to be alone on a map. Uh, so we offer this type of environment where this is possible. Um, and, you know, we're different. <laughs> we admit that. Um, and we think it works wonderfully. We've also fixed other things that were basically, you know, kind of awkward in the game, like leasing a vehicle. Um, if you go out and you need a tractor to do something on that new land that you just leased, um, well, you know, how does it feel to have to shell out 25000 out of the money that you don't have to get it? Well, it's a, it's a problem. It's always been a problem. So when we say that we're reality-based, we've fixed a lot of these issues. Um, in our system, if you would like to get something like that, uh, you would go to the rental center and simply pick out equipment and use our website. Um, we also have used equipment dealers. So, hey, looking to save some dough on some equipment? Um, before FS22 came out with it, we had Shady's equipment lot. And he buys real used equipment from players and resells it. Um, in our system, equipment stays on a server from the time it's born to the time it gets destroyed. And many players can own that same piece of hardware with the hours on it that go forward. Uh, we believe in realism. We embrace it. Um, getting back to Ricky, uh, to Ricky's experience with, with, with factories, um, in our factory co-op server, we have a process where we say so can actually issue contracts, uh, to move things uh, to, to, for players to go uh, and take a truck, just like the co-op, um, and transport goods between the factories. These co-op, uh, these trucking jobs pay money and uh, players get to uh, do pretty good with it. So we hope you've enjoyed uh, this introductory video to GFSN. Um, I don't want to glaze your eyes over, but there's many more details. Um, but it's a very simple system to use and operate, um, as you'll see in the next video. I'm going to wrap this one up, folks, and uh, if you're still interested in learning more, um, tune in for part two of the introduction to GFSN and how to use the internal menus. Hope to see you there. Have a great day, folks.